What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video and this one we have India's 11 billion dollar response to China's 60 GW super dam. Now before we dive into this video, if you guys have uh would like to support the channel by becoming a member, you can just click that join button down below. Just give it a quick tap. Uh you receive exclusive benefits that I know you guys will enjoy. But let's look at this response. Villages in Assam have been severely My affected gosh. with most of them having been submerged in water. Villagers, in fact, in over 28 districts have now been left without what any the? relief. What Meet Druba, a farmer from the Dubri district in the Indian state of Assam. For generations, his family has relied on agriculture to support their livelihood. Each year, as June arrives, his family would sow paddy in their fields, anticipating a rich harvest in the month of November. But in 2017, Druba's life changed forever. You see, Druba and millions of other farmers in the region rely on the mighty Brahmaputra River to water their crops. That year, unexpected floods swept through his village, destroying homes and agricultural fields. <laughs> Druba lost everything. After the Indian army pushed back the Chinese from Doklam Valley in 2017, China had suddenly stopped sharing crucial water level data with India. Without this information, India was unprepared for the floods that followed, leaving 300 people dead and millions more suffering. That's legitimately like heartbreaking. That is shattering. That's just like F, bro. I hate that. I hate natural disasters. I hate that China could have could have saved all those people, but chose not to um, due to tensions between India and China. And it just sucks, man. But this was just the beginning. In the last few years, China has been working hard to increase its control over the livelihood of millions of Indians like Druba. Wow. It is taking up massive infrastructure projects to dry up one of India's biggest rivers in an attempt to choke the nation. And in today's video, we'll know how India is trying to eliminate that risk. Before we begin, please hit the like button below. Any video about China has a potential to be downvoted by the CCP bots. So your likes help out the video a lot in the algorithm. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. This is the Tibetan Plateau, a huge geographic region in the middle of Asia that's more than half the size of the European Union, God but with a population dang. of only around 5 million Jeez. people. This place is extremely remote and empty of people, but it's not the number of people that makes it important. If you take a look at this topological map of Asia, it becomes immediately obvious why Tibet is one of the most strategically important regions in the entire world. Mm -hmm. It is the home of tens of thousands of glaciers locked high up in the mountains that collectively store the third largest reserve of fresh water found anywhere on the planet, Ooh. only behind the North and South Poles. Wow. Which is why this region is often referred to be Earth's third pole. At Dang. the same time, the sources of many of the world's mightiest rivers begin up here as well, like the Yangtze, Yellow, Mekong, Indus, and the Brahmaputra. The Brahmaputra, also known as Yarlung Zhangbo in China, is the sixth longest river in Asia running through Jeez. China, India, and Bangladesh. It starts here at the Angsi Glacier near Mount Kailash and flows over a thousand kilometers east until it reaches Namcha Bawa Mountain. From there, it turns south and enters Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh and descends into the plains of adjoining Assam state, followed by Bangladesh, before finally emptying into the Indian Ocean. This river is incredible. It's the highest major river in the world, and at almost 3,900 kilometers long, it's also one of the longest. The Brahmaputra River is a lifeline for over millions of farmers and residents in India and Bangladesh who depend on its waters for agriculture, drinking and hydroelectric power. In its lower course, the river is both an advantage and a disadvantage. It provides fertile alluvial soil for agriculture, but also causes periodic devastating floods in India and Bangladesh. But now, the mighty Brahmaputra faces an existential threat, all thanks to India's hostile neighbor, China. 
We begin tonight with the India-China border conflict. There's a new provocation from the Chinese side over Arunachal Pradesh. China loves engineering. For the past 70 years, they've broken records in almost every industry, building more Jesus. and bigger than most of the competition. And hydropower is no exception. China currently has more than 87,000 dams constructed at a rate unmatched in human history. God, Collectively, dang. they generate 390 gigawatts of electricity, which is more than the capacities of Brazil, Canada, and the United States combined. Jeez. After damming its interval rivers, China in recent years is focusing on international rivers, and Brahmaputra oh. is one of them. Over a period of 10 years, China so has- they create a dam, then that water is not gonna make it to India and Bangladesh, and though they're gonna be left, so the agriculture there, and the, they depend on it for drinking water, and then they depend on it for hydro power, they'd be left with none of that. Wow. Built four major dams on the Brahmaputra River, Dagu, Jiexu, Jiacha, and Zangmu. And it has proposed to build at least eight more dams on the river within the next 10 years. God dang. But compared to what they're working on now, everything else pales in comparison. Right here at the most remote stretch of the river, known as the Great Bend, China is building the biggest hydroelectric facility we've ever seen. In fact, it is bigger than the biggest and the most powerful hydroelectric facility in the world, the Three Gorges Dam. It is quite simply the largest, most expensive, most powerful, and arguably the most controversial dam in all of history. The biggest hydropower Jeez. project in the world. One that would overtake China's own Three Gorges Dam that produces 22.5 gigawatts of power. As the river performs a dramatic turn around the 7,700 meters tall Namcha Barwa Mountain, it plunges through the Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon the world's deepest gorge. From one side of the Great Bend to the other, there's a drop in elevation of more than 2,000 meters. The dramatic drop and speed of flow provide for the greatest untapped hydropower resources on the planet. And this is exactly what China hopes to harness. It's noon, China Dang. is building a super dam on the Brahmaputra near its border with India, according to a Chinese state media report. Although details are extremely limited, but there are two ways they could do it and both of them have problems. One of them is to build another cascade of dams down through the Great Gorge, which is really problematic because this is a biodiverse region and that would really trash the place. The second and likely preferred way is to drill an enormous tunnel through the Namcha Barwa mountain from the highest reach of the river to the bottom reach of the river. The idea would be to release water through the tunnel and onto oh, wow. turbines on the other side, generating huge amounts of energy. If completed, this massive project has the potential to generate more than 60 gigawatts of power. That's three times as much as God. Three Gorges Dam, the biggest in the world today. God Pulling it off dang. would be an engineering triumph, even for China. One of the many challenges of building here is just how inaccessible- That's crazy. That much power? this place is. Until recently, there wasn't even a major road that ran into this county. Even getting the construction materials up there would be something worth celebrating. The region is also geologically volatile. For starters, mm. it sits right on a fault line between the tectonic plates of India and Eurasia. Oh, wow. The epicenter of one of the world's most powerful earthquakes ever recorded, a magnitude 8.6 quake in 1950, was just 200 kilometers away in the Indian state of Assam. Since 1901, more than 4,000 quakes have been recorded in the region above yeah, magnitude 4.5. If that happens after the dam has been built, the downstream consequences could be catastrophic. Wow. This project would also sit just 30 kilometers from the Indian border state of Arunachal Pradesh. If you look at the location of all the dams built or planned to be built, they are located within a distance of few kilometers, all in the same area with very low population density. When you consider the fact that these hydroelectric stations are built upstream and significantly reduce the water pressure and volume flowing into India and Bangladesh, Dang. you quickly realize where the problem is. 
These dams are strategically placed to maximize control over the river's flow into India and Bangladesh. Dang. With such extensive control over a mighty river like Brahmaputra, China can willfully cause droughts or flash floods, effects of which are already visible. That's With its crazy. vast network of rivers, Assam is prone to natural disasters like floods and soil erosion. And Brahmaputra in Assam has been carrying suspicious dark grey-like cement material into the country from across the border from China. Arunachal Pradesh's mighty Siang River has dramatically dried up and the state suspects that China could be behind the river's drying up process. India is also not just fussing over hypotheticals either. It has been working on its water management strategies, including building dams and reservoirs to mitigate the impact of reduced water flow from upstream. In August last year, New Delhi awarded contracts to state-run hydropower companies for the construction of 12 hydropower projects oh, wow. of more than 11.5 gigawatts, entailing an estimated investment of $11 billion. This would help hey. India control their own water resources but might make the situation even more complicated for Bangladesh at the bottom of the river. Heavy hey. rains combined with overflowing rivers inundated this town. Heavy rains have caused some of the worst flooding in two decades in parts of Bangladesh and India. My At least 57 God. people have been killed and two million left stranded Jeez. in northeastern Bangladesh. In addition, there's another factor in India's favor. Although China's massive dams will reduce the water level significantly, they cannot wipe out the river system in its entirety. Hmm. Fortunately for India and Bangladesh, the Brahmaputra River is fed by numerous tributaries spread across the region. Of the entire area, approximately 50% of the river's flow originates in the Tibetan region, 42% in India, including Bhutan's 8%, oh, wow. and the rest is in Bangladesh. These tributaries are crucial for maintaining the river's flow and supporting the diverse ecosystems and agricultural lands in northeastern India and Bangladesh. This all speaks to the bigger problem underlying everything, geopolitics. If one country controls the flow of water to another, they hold a huge geopolitical leverage over its neighbor. Fact. For China and India, that's a major cause for concern. The two countries already have a difficult relationship, thanks to border disputes and competition for resources and political influence. The future of the relationship between India and China is just one of the many questions surrounding this mega-project. But the important question left is, what do you think? Will they actually manage it? And what will the consequences be for India and Bangladesh? Share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. I, yeah, I wouldn't like the thought. I guess if I was in India or Bangladesh, I wouldn't like the thought of China being able to control how much water is coming down, I guess, at the end of the day. Even though they can't fully stop all the water from coming, it seems like they can significantly reduce the volume that does come. And I wouldn't like them being in control of that at all. Let me know what you guys think, though. That's all we have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, um, please make sure you hit that subscribe and you like the video. Also, check out this next one.